Hey, LA loves, it's that time again. Let's discuss with author LA Logan. Before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If this is not your first time to the channel, welcome back. If you haven't already done so, click the like button, the subscribe button, as well as the bell so that you'll be notified when new content has been loaded to the channel. Sorry guys that I haven't uploaded a video in a while, but I've had a lot of things going on, different projects, and then something personal happened. I'm gonna get into all of that once we get into the video. I'm still at home quarantining, nothing has changed. Well, except for one thing. I did change my backdrop. I've used this backdrop one other time when I celebrated my 10 years of being a published author. So earlier I mentioned that something personal happened. I lost a really dear friend of mine to a car accident. Um, there were a total of six people in the car and all six passed away. And it was just really, really sad and um, just heartbreaking. Uh, three of the individuals that were in the car were children, so that makes it even harder. And, um, I just have not been in a good place emotionally. So, I just could not record a video. I just couldn't do it. I had to deal with that, um, sort some things out of my emotions. You know, we talked about earlier in the year about life being too short and spending time with people and making memories with people. And it was just another reminder uh, to me that time's not always promised. There's not always going to be a next time and that you need to make the best of it. So I want to dedicate this video to my friend Felicia, who was a light who loved everybody, she loved her family, she loved her friends, and she had a special knack of making you think that you were the only person in the world that was important to her. No matter what she was going through, no matter what she was dealing with, she always made time for her friends and her family. And I just love her so much and I treasure her and I have a new angel watching over me. Also, Father's Day just passed as well as Juneteenth. Personally, I was not able to physically see my dads because of the pandemic, but I was able to have conversation with them. I was able to FaceTime and it was absolutely wonderful. We laughed, we talked about many different things. And so it turned out to be a great Father's Day. Juneteenth was the same weekend as Father's Day. And 2020 has been the year of Juneteenth. A lot of conversation is starting to be had as it pertains to should Juneteenth be a national holiday. Now, for you and I, Juneteenth is not new, but for others, it is new. It's the first time they've ever heard about it. I remember attending Juneteenth celebrations back when I was in junior high school and high school. I mean, it was the thing to do. It was filled with festivals, dancing, music, food, crafts, just all these different things. And it was so exciting. I mean, you looked forward to celebrating Juneteenth. So now the question is, should Juneteenth be a national holiday? I say, yes, it should be a national holiday. What do you think? I mean, it did take a while to get Martin Luther King's birthday as a national holiday. And I remember when I was in high school, when that was actually done. And I also remember that one of my friends parents have went to a Stevie Wonder concert. Wow, I, I'm shocked, Stevie Wonder. Anyway, I digress. They went to the Stevie Wonder concert and he said, I will not do another concert in the state of Arizona until Arizona recognizes Martin Luther King's birthday as a national holiday and let people off work. Well, it's a national holiday. I've been working for my same company for over 20 years and we just recently were able to get Martin Luther King off as a paid holiday. So why hasn't everybody came on board? Why is it such an issue? I mean, what is the big deal? Juneteenth is a part of our history and it is something that should not be lost in the process. I mean, some books in schools are trying to write out the fact that slavery even existed. So I think that Juneteenth should be pushed to the forefront and it should be considered a national holiday. You'll have some companies who will say, well, 
Use your floating holiday if you want to take off or use your vacation time if you want to take off. Hmm, I don't think a person should have to do that. I mean, why not recognize it as a national holiday? I mean, it's a huge step in history in mankind that slaves were set free, they knew they were free, and they had equal rights or should have had equal rights as Caucasians. So, yeah, I say we should allow it to be a national holiday. It's, I say it's going to take a little bit of time, just like it took a long time to get Martin Luther King's birthday as a national holiday. The same thing will happen with Juneteenth. But I am happy to know that it is more in the forefront and is being talked about more than it has in the years before. So guys, that's the end of our discussion for today. But I do want to say, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope that you enjoyed what we talked about on today. If this is not your first time to the channel, welcome back. I hope you also enjoyed what we talked about on today. And the thing that I always say, let me leave you with this. Remember, the plans for your life have already been designed. It's just up to you to trust the planner. Have a good one, everybody.